Hey, so in this tutorial I just wanted to show you how you can insert your own company logo into the Polyworks report editor. So here's my uh, part. I've just done a quick scan and color map with a few uh, color map annotations. So there's my report. You can edit this a little bit. I'm just going to put that on the front page since that's all I have. We can delete the content page. Right click delete. So we just have this, uh, this first page, which is the cover page. Um, so it's quite easy to do this as a one-off. Uh, you can see the Inometric logo. You can just click on it, hit delete, and it's gone. And to replace it, we right-click, create, and select an image from file. So I'm just using my um, dummy logo here, the Acme Anvil Company. So there it is there. We can slide that in, resize it, you know, whatever looks good, and it's good to go. So that would be just a one-off. So I'll show you how to do this as, um, as a default setting, as a save layout. Okay, so what we do is we need a blank report. So if I wanted this to come up every time as my report, I don't want to have this image showing when I save it as a template. So what I'll do is I'll just create another report. Create formatted report. So you can see I have report 2 here. So I'll keep it blank. I'll have a content page here. Page 2, cover page, page 1. Delete the Inometric logo. Again, browse to my image from file. resize that like we did before okay so that looks good so this if we want to use this as our new template we need to save it in what's called a layout so let's go to file and save as layout and it's already in the correct folder you can see here is the path to where polyworks stores these layout files so that has an ezl extension on it so I'll give that a name, I'll just call it um, Acme, and save. So now it's, it's saved where it needs to be saved. The next thing you'll want to do is go into Options, Inspector Options under Reports, and here you can actually choose that layout that we just saved. So if I always want to just go to this automatically, I can just choose it here and click Open, just like that. Another option would be to check the box called confirm on creation. So this is a nice option and I'll show you how that works. So I'll do that, check that, click apply and OK. So now when I create a new report, create formatted report, this dialog box opens. So what that allows us to do is choose from a number of saved reports. So you can see there's my Acme one click on that and hit create. There we go. So this would be if you had multiple saved layouts, it allows you to choose them at the point of creation. If this is always the one you want to use, then you would want to go in and actually choose it here, uncheck confirm on creation, and just pick the acme.ezl file. Okay, so I'll show you how that works. So again, we'll create a formatted report, and automatically it doesn't ask us, it just chooses our preferred layout, and we're good to go. So that's pretty much it, uh, pretty simple. Um, I do get asked this question a lot. Uh, it's easy to do as a one-off, but to save it as a template, you need to go through those extra steps. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time.